poor Keith. I mean, in that fella's worst nightmares, he didn't envisage this. I mean, we ended up with an egg inside dog biscuit. It was like an envelope. After 20 years as a milliner, Sharon thinks it's time to hang up her hat and turn her hand to something new. I'm a very creative and very good milliner, but I'm also a very creative and very good cook. Ambitious cook Keith hopes to impress by making his own pasta. We're going to do a ravioli with a, an egg yolk in the middle of it. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, will, will the egg yolk be cooked? It'll be oozy and runny if I get it right. It should be on your plate. You've got one minute left. That's it. Time's up. Step away. Keith hopes his egg ravioli on a bed of sprouting broccoli will prove to be the perfect combination. You don't have to look at that plate. You can look at your face to tell that things didn't go to plan. No. You've had a disaster here. We've got rock-hard, firm pasta and uh, hard-cooked egg inside. Even the broccoli needs draining off its water logs. Wild food lover Simon has cooked trout fillet on watercress and onion with saffron weir base. I don't think you've packed a load of flavour into that sauce. The prominent flavour is the fish. But uh, you may cook a bit because there, there's nothing wrong there. Lydia has cooked an Eastern European-inspired herb-stuffed trout with beetroot and horseradish. Your fish is cooked beautifully. I love the sweetness of the beetroot. I like the heat that comes from the horseradish. I think it's a very tasty dish. Experimental cook Sharon hopes that her dish of trout and polenta with caper salsa will take her one step closer to a career change. I don't mind the polenta. I feel as though it needs a little bit more seasoning in it. But what you've done is made that fish really stand out. The fish is cooked marvellously, but the whole thing is very acidic because you've got a lot of wine going on in that polenta and then acid as well in your salsa. So I'm undecided with you. We've had some ups and downs, that's for sure. It's going to make for a very interesting judging decision. Thank you very much. I think we've got some good cooks, and I think we've got some people with real promise. We actually had a few disasters today, though. Poor Keith. I mean, in that fella's worst nightmares, he didn't envisage this. I mean, we ended up with an egg inside dog biscuit. It was like an envelope. Even the broccoli underneath that, that ravioli was sodden with water. It was not good at all. I think Keith should just go home. Jason's food's way too confused. I think he got quite lucky with the fish being cooked well, because he just put it as a whole fish and he baked it. But the fundamental parts of that dish were the potato puree, the lemon and caper sauce, and the vegetables. All three of those were wrong. Jason has to go home. Yeah, I agree. I like Lydia. I think Lydia's uh, fish was cooked perfectly. She let the fish be the star. She'd served it with one rough cut puree. Now, I think I've seen enough to want to put her through to the next round. This is a competition, and three of you are going to stay, and three of you are going home. Lydia. You are staying in this competition, Lydia. Keith and Jason, I'm sorry, gentlemen, you are leaving us. Simon, we would like to see you cook some more, Simon. Emma or Sharon? Congratulations, Sharon.